hey how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video in this video i'm going to be showing you guys what are the best settings for marvel rivals season 2.5 dropped recently and how you guys can optimize your fps fix lags stutter and frame drops easily on any pc so make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said let's get started with the intro Alright, starting off with the essential window settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and once you're over here come down to personalization and then click on colors over here disable transparency effects and then come down to gaming head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off since it is an overlay service game bar actually reduces your FPS and impacts the performance negatively after that go back to gaming head over to game mode and turn this thing on it will help you to optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background also disable disabling unwanted notifications popping up on your PC to improve the performance of your games. After that, click on the graphic settings right under that and enable optimizations for windowed games to utilize your graphic card on windowed mode as well as reduce input latency. After that, click on add a desktop app over here and then go to the download location of your game. Here I am right in my game folder. What you guys have to do is head over to Marvel Game, Marvel, Binaries, Win64 and then you'll find Marvel Win64 Shipping.exe right over here click on the add button and once that is added scroll a bit down until you find the application select it and then you wanna have to select your gpu preference and then go for high performance similarly do the same for the win64 shipping that you might have added over here and enable optimizations for windowed games for both of these options also enable optimizations for windowed games and once that is done you guys can simply close your settings step number two is compatibility settings and for that head over to steam then you wanna have to right click on your game and then click on manage and then you have to click on browse local files once you're over here maximize the screen and then head over to marvel game marvel binaries win64 and then scroll a bit down until you find the win64 shipping.exe in this list right click on it and then head over to its properties and then click on the compatibility button over here click on disable full screen optimization and then click on change high dpi settings and enable the override high dpi scaling behavior option click on ok apply and then ok to close it well before moving ahead i would like to introduce you all to gvg mall a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place gvg mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit reliable and convenient on the website you can find a lot of categories where you can get steam and origin as well as pc game gift cards and genuine windows activation key i however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since i do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it i can literally get a windows key for a huge discount generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25 percent off at just 1631 and you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Next step is disabling background applications and you can natively do that from settings in Windows 10. But on Windows 11, you have to search for edit group policy and once you're over here, double click on computer configuration, administrative templates, windows components, app privacy and right over here, you'll find let windows apps run in the background. Background. Double click to open this policy up and ensure that it is set to enabled. And then for the policy option, you wanna have to set this thing to force deny and then click on the OK button. This will deny all of the applications running in the background which will help you to reduce the number of processes on your CPU as well as optimize the performance while you're playing games. Once that is done, simply close it. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and once you're over here, scroll a bit down until you find your local disk C. Click on create and name it Marvel Rivals just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys now to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, simply click on the close button and then close system properties the very next step is marvel rivals s 2.5 fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below in here i have left six simple folders which are really important to optimize the performance of your pc 
Let us start with the first one that is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priorities. If you guys have an Intel CPU like me, you can double click and apply the Intel CPU priority which will load up the optimized CPU settings which will help you improve the performance of your processor. And if you guys use an AMD CPU, I have left an AMD CPU priority for you guys as well. Simply double click to apply that. Second one is RAM optimization which offers the same thing but for your RAM. In here I have left a preset for all of you guys and you can apply the RAM preset according to your PC. I have 32GB RAM so I need to apply this registry over here. It could be different for you guys so you can apply it there. And then if you guys want to reset it back to default, you can always reset it back to default right from this registry over here. Next one is Rivals Priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority and I would request you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Fourth folder is Disable Unwanted Services in which you guys have an option to manually disable all of these unwanted services which you do not use regularly. Unless you use any Bluetooth or printer services, leave these two and disable every single one of these services in this list. It will help you to disable them by the core and help you to optimize the performance drastically. And once again, if you guys think that you have made a mistake or you want to revert any of them back to normal, head over to the revert registries folder and enable them back again. Fifth folder is helping you to improve your input delay in case you are using frame generation. Over here I have left two folders. The first one is keyboard latency fix for which I would request you guys to leave your keyboard specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which keyboard buffer you need to choose over here. Next one is mouse latency registries which is built by pros. If you guys click on edited notepad you guys can see that it helps you to set up the correct smooth X curve and Y curve to optimize the performance of your mouse. Simply double click to apply that and that should be it. Last and not the least is the Pro PC Optimizer tool which I have left in this folder. It helps you to fix your internet connection, apply the best power plan, remove unnecessary services and reduce the number of process count, free up your memory and a lot of other stuff. Simply double click to open it up and you'll find Pro PC Optimizer version 1.1. You wanna have to right click on it as administrator. Once you open it up, it will show you the loading screen. Press enter and then press enter once again and this will create a restore point. Once it is done, press any key to continue and it will start optimizing your PC and once that is done, you have to ensure that you head over to control panel, look for power options over here and over here you have to see that Pro PC Max Performance Power Plan is added in this list. I have run this multiple times so this power plan has been added to my PC. But what you guys have to do is simply select that and once that is done simply close it. This is the most optimal power plan and help you to improve the performance of your PC by consuming maximum power. If you are on a laptop this might lead to overheating issues so you might use it wisely. Once all of that is done simply close it. The next step is MS config and for that press windows and R key together and then type in MS config over here. Press enter and this will open up system configuration right over here. What you guys have to do is click on the boot section and then click on advanced option. Click on number of processor and choose the maximum number of processor available for your PC. Click on the OK button and once that is done click on apply. Then head over to the services tab and then click on hide all Microsoft service. Over here I would request you guys to disable all kind of RGB, fan control service, browser update service, printer services if you do not use them or any kind of RGB management services. This will help you to improve your performance by reducing the number of processes running in the background, optimizing the performance of your PC. Once that is done, click on the OK button and then click on the restart button over here. Alright, once you are on your PC restarted, head over to Steam and then you have to click on the play button on Marvel Rivals. This will open up the launcher in front of you and you guys can see an option called switch shader compilation mode. You guys can simply turn it on if you guys have a low end PC and this will help you to get boosted FPS for free. Click on the settings gear over here and then for enable Razer Chroma you have to ensure that this is set to off. Click on the confirm button. Click on this brush icon and once that is done click on the launch button. This will clean your shader cache. Next step is dropping into the game for the best in game settings. Okay once you're in your game head over to the play button and then click on the settings gear. Head over to settings. In the display settings, you have to set your target display to your native monitor and your display mode to borderless windowed if you guys want to use frame generation. If you guys do not want to use that, you can go for full screen. 
Next is anti-aliasing and super resolution type. You guys have a lot of options over here. So if you guys have an NVIDIA graphic card, go with DLSS. If you guys have an AMD graphic card, go with the FSR3. If you have an Intel graphic card or an Intel integrated card, you can go with Zest. And if you guys have no graphic card, you can go for TAAU or Epic TSR. Both of them works absolutely fine. I will do a comparison video very soon in which I'll try all of these settings. For the super resolution mode, you guys can go with quality or balanced. Both of them works absolutely fine. But if you guys are having a low end PC, you can also go with performance mode. For the super resolution sharpening, I would recommend you guys to go with 80. FSR 3 frame gen, I would not recommend you guys to go with on because it literally adds a, a hell load of input latency into your game, which is not advisable. But if you guys are willing to get that frames, on the cost of your input latency, you guys can turn this thing on. NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, just enable that. Limit FPS off, show FPS on, network stats on, VSync on. Then head down to the graphics settings and over here you'll find the graphics quality. Have to set this thing to low. For the global illumination, go with SSGI. Reflection quality, go with off. Model detail, you guys can go with low. Works absolutely perfect. Post processing low, shadow detail low, texture details you guys can go with medium, effects detail you guys can go with low and foliage quality low. Press enter to apply these settings and then click on confirm. Now you guys can drop into the game with the best FPS possible. So guys that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash hit subscribe button since it really helps me grow the channel. We are really close to 250,000 subscribers and your support is really, really appreciated. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.